In this video, we have two questions. The first says, will all rectangular prisms with the same height and base area, same height and base area, have the same shape? Explain. And then, will all cylinders with the same height and base area, right, same, same principle, have the same shape? Explain. So let's talk about rectangular prisms for a moment and height and base area. So base area, of course, is the area of the bottom of your shape. So let's just sketch out. That's our base area. And the height, of course, extends up from there. So this is my rectangular prism. Now, I think to evaluate this question, one nice way of doing it is to pick a volume of a shape, right? To pick the dimension. So let's say our volume is going to be equal to 24 cubic centimeters. 24, right, cubic centimeters. This means that 24 cubic centimeters, if we thought of if we had 24 cubes, they would fit in our shape. This is our volume. So now the question is, okay, what dimensions right, could get us that volume, and what would the base area have to be? Well, okay, if we start listing out factors of 24, we have lots of options, right? 1 right, by 4 by 6, there's 1. And 2 right, times 12 times 1. And we can keep going. We could say 2 by 2, right, by 6. And we can keep listing these out. But I'm going to stop here because my goal is to find two prisms with the same, same height and same base area and ask if they have the same shape. And I've already got a comparison tool. I don't know if you see it yet. But these two, right, these two prisms have the same height. Let's say that the 6 is the height in both of them. So the height is equal to 6. And, well, that means the other two dimensions are what? Well, they must be the length and the width. So on this prism right here, uh, and in fact, let me clear it off because it's not going to represent nicely what we're doing. Let's sketch out this first prism. It's a 1, let's just say this is 1 centimeter, by 4, and a height of 6. So tall, skinny, rectangular prism. 1 by 4 by 6. Right? 1 could equal the width, 4 could equal the length, and 6 could equal the height. Okay, so that's this, this rectangular prism. Right? We'll call this A. Here's A. Now B over here, we'll draw a different color. We'll draw B in a dark kind of reddish purple, magenta maybe. Um, B will be what? Well, it's 2 right, by 2 by 6. And my, my sketch is not great, but, but I think you get the idea. Oops, that's terrible. Sorry. Try to get a straight line. There we go. Okay, so it's 2 by 2 by 6. And that's the height, and that's the length, and that's the width. So what am I showing you? Well, these two containers, right, they hold the same amount of stuff, right? They, hold, they both have a volume of 24. Multiply 2 by 2 by 6, or 1 by 4 by 6, you get 24. And also their heights are equal. Their heights are both 6. And their base areas are equal. What does that mean? Well, the base area is the area of the base. To get that, you multiply the width by the length. So here it's 2 times 2, which is 4. And here it's also 4, because 4 by 1, right, 4 times 1 is also 4. But these two shapes are different, right? This rectangular prism, rectangular prism A, is, has a base of 1 by 4. This rectangular prism has a base of 2 by 2. So in fact, um, these two have different shapes. In other words, the dimensions are different, but they hold the same amount of stuff, and their base areas are identical. So here, the answer is no. They will not all have the same shape. Let's clear this off. What about, oops, what about cylinders? Well, cylinders are different. And this is one of those cases where, you know, you think all 3D shapes must have similar properties, but cylinders are, in fact, quite different. What is different about a cylinder? Well, the cylinder, the area of the base is a circle, and that's where things change. If you remember to find the area of the base of, of, or the area of a circle, you take the radius and you square it, right? And then you multiply that by pi, and typically it's written as pi r squared. But the idea is the same. It's just multiply the radius by itself, and then multiply it by pi. So whatever the area of this base is, it's a circle, it only depends on one number. And that number can't change, right? The radius times itself has to be the same number twice. So for example, here if the radius is equal to 4, 
right? And we have a height of 10, right? The base area is going to be what? Well, the radius squared equals 16. So the base area is going to be equal to radius squared times pi. So it's 16 times pi, and pi is about 3, so this is a little bit above 48. But here, right, I'm going to leave it as 16 pi. That's the area of this base. The idea is that any other cylinder I draw with the same area on the bottom, it has to be the same circle. And you can look at that in the formula. The formula is based entirely on the radius. So the only way to get a circle with an area of 16 pi is to use a circle with an, a radius of 4. The radius has to be 4. So think about a circle. The radius has to equal 4. And then that's the only way to get a circle with this area. So if two cylinders have the same height and base area, they must be identical. Um, so that's that's how cylinders, I think, differ from the rectangular prisms. And this really gets us started on some of our uh, great intuition with 3D shapes. Hope this helped.